FeatureCam 2019 now includes a Swiss specific feature recognition add-in, which splits the turning features along the length of the component into smaller Z sections, allowing you to machine closer to the guide bushing to achieve the higher tolerances associated with Swiss machining. So to access this add-in, I'm just gonna to navigate to the add-ins tab, select manage, and then search for the add-in in the library. Once the add-in is loaded, you can run it from the top of the screen and you can specify how you're going to split your features along the length of the component. You can choose to break the features at a change of geometry or you can choose to break them at a maximum curve length. In this instance, I'm going to choose a maximum turn length of 10 millimeters and run the add-in. As you can see from the left hand side of the screen, we now have a variety of different features associated with the main setup. All that's left for me to do at this stage is to reorder the features to machine in the correct order. So I actually don't need hole one in this case because I'm using tubular shaped stock. Another thing you'll notice is that we have turn one here which has actually been excluded from the setup. This is the feature that runs the entire length of the component and is the feature that is split up to create turning operations two, three and four. So the first turning feature I want to do is obviously at the front of the stock. So I'll just drag that above groove number one. Next I want to machine groove five as this is also at the front of the component. I then proceed to reorder my features like so. At this point I can run a 3D simulation to verify my programming. As you can see we're turning in three different sections and performing the grooving operations in between those turning features.